Hey YouTube, this is The Art of Prepping. Just wanted to make a rant video about property taxes. And uh, we all have to pay them apparently, but uh, I do not think they're constitutional at all. And uh, I do believe that the, the city or the municipal, um, you know, entity of our cities and towns and even our states have a right to collect taxes. Uh, I'm not debating that part. They have to have enough money to uh, maintain the infrastructure uh, for our for our living, our quality of life, <clears throat> and our social social you know services. But the problem is, and the problem lies in this idea that these arbitrary taxes that we get, and these numbers that typically go up and up every year, taxes that uh, a lot of us don't have any say. They just get voted on by a small amount of people. These, uh, these particular taxes that, if you don't pay them, will result in most of the time a lien against your property. And uh, after a period of time, if you do not pay and clear that lien, uh, that uh, the local city government can, uh, can come and auction your property off. Um, or at least uh, sell some of the value of that property and uh, to, to recoup their taxes, or what they call their property, uh, by fiat. And once again, municipal um, cities and uh, towns have a right to collect taxes for operational expenses if it's within reason. You know, like roads and public safety and uh, the ability to, uh, you know, have a fire department, for example. But I will say, though, there's other ways than to make people homeless. And um, I've seen this firsthand. I hope it never happens to me. But uh, people who are good people may have been caught in hard times. And because of that, they can't pay their property tax. Now, from what I understand with the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, that we have or granted the right of private property. How can you actually have ownership of real private property if the state and government has the ability to take your property? So I think that the, the more logical and constitutional and the means of uh, representing the, the way of freedom as a free person, uh, if that was actually done, we wouldn't have the property taxes we would now. We would probably have a flat tax or a usage tax or sometimes they call it a fair tax. Uh, and then with how this works, and I think this is by far the most logical way of, of doing taxation, is whenever you purchase something, you get taxed uh, to cover all the expenses like roadways and infrastructure and uh, bridges and, you know, new roads and, uh, you know, public safety and any other type of governmental type of, uh, you know, usage and needs. And, um, and I think that's how it should be across the board. The more you consume... Uh, the more you get taxed and it kind of makes sense. For example, if you buy a lot of fuel, that probably means that you probably use a lot of the roadways. Now, you may argue and say, well, you know, farmers may be on their own private property using the fuel to, uh, to plow or to harvest their, uh, their, their goods. And that may be true, too. So there could be some problems with exactly making it fair in that sense. But the majority of people do not have farms. And most people, if they buy a lot of gas, they drive a lot. Therefore, that those taxes should go toward the roads and so forth. So how would be that that's a lot more fair to me than saying, OK, you don't pay your taxes. We're going to come and take your home and uh, or take property or assets. And I do not believe that that's uh, constitutional at all. I'd be curious to see what you think about this. Uh, I'm 100 percent sure that it's not right. But just like a lot of things in this country, there's a lot of corruption, uh, not only with our monetary policies, but uh, with our politicians. And, um, and taxation is no different. You know, we have the, the IRS, which is, uh, uh, for the most part, uh, and the internal, at least the internal parts of, uh, of the upper echelons are a bunch of criminals, in my opinion. I'm sure there's a lot of good people that work at the IRS that are just doing their job just to pay bills and to pay their taxes. But in the, in the end, though, we have people who um, uh, are just trying to single people out and to take what is not theirs. So if we're a free people in this United States of America, uh, we, we obviously don't have the you know, real property rights. 
And so uh, property rights should not be taken away. There should not be any kind of taxation on property. And this is what really gets me. The more you improve your property, the more you know that they say that you've made improvements and, uh, and you get taxed more. And I just know, you know, obviously it's because they want more money, but there's no incentive to actually better your property. Or you live in fear that they find out that you built something that they're going to come and say, well, that's going to add another two or $300 a year for the rest of your life. You got to pay. So it's like it makes everything much more expensive long term. So why would you want to improve your property or make, or make property improvements when it just incurs a cost long term? Sometimes a great cost. So th this, is the, this is the crappy things that you see when you have liberal mentalities and ideologies of utopian big government that's supposed to solve everything and they're not. There are these bloated organizations uh, that don't have us in, in, in mind at all. And it's just to grow themselves um, and grow their power and not empower the people. It's to take the power away from the people and to limit the freedoms and liberties that we have. So uh, I'm outspoken on this. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are too. I just uh, wanted to say that out loud, you know, and I think all this is bullshit, completely bullshit. Uh, property taxes should not be. Uh, there should be integrated flat taxes or cross the board taxes, fair taxes. Um, and by the definition term of that, uh, or usage tax. I'm all for any of those forms or maybe slight variations of it because the more you consume, uh, the more you you know you should pay taxes because you're using those facilities and most likely you're using more infrastructure. Uh, not always, but mostly. And so that's going to be a better way than uh, just uh, you know uh, trying to single out people who may have larger properties or bigger houses or that make certain amount of monies. And and that kind of falls into the category of income tax too. It's like the more you make, the more you get penalized too. So there's no incentive to make more money a lot of times because sometimes when you make overtime. The tax rate is uh, sometimes as much as 10 to 20 percent more that you're taxed on than you were on your regular money. And some people say, well, at the end of the year, you get a lot of that back and your refund. And But who wants to wait to the refund? And a lot of times you don't get that back. And so I think the tax uh, system in the United States is completely upside down. And uh, I think it's corrupt, just like our most of our governments, uh, city and state and especially federal federal is just needs to be completely redone uh, i do have some uh heart feeling you know heartfelt feelings of sadness for our military those who who went into the military especially thinking that they were going to uh, make this big difference and some of them do make differences i'm not saying that there's a lot of good people in the military uh, even in our law enforcement as well but the sadness is that they're they're playing this agenda though they're fulfilling the agenda of those uh, that, that are um, that are above them, that, that they don't have the people in mind. And so fighting wars that we should not be in, involved with and uh, dealing with people and, and befriending countries that hate us. And uh, our, uh, our interest as, in America is uh, are dwindling and our power over in the, in the world structure is dwindling. Our monetary policies are just uh, completely apeshit. And um, I'm sure a lot of you guys, you know, feel the same way. And, Sometimes it's, I feel like it's not even really worth talking about because it's everything is happening so fast and it's just like trying to keep up with all this and seeing it all unfold is it's sad. It really is, especially when you consider, uh, you know, these uh, these bubbles in the market. You know, um, you got the in the bond market, the yield curve is starting to flatten out just like it did in 2001 and 2008. Uh, more so in 2007 going into 2008 which leads into uh, big bust and big downturns you know big uh, bear markets in the stocks so once again though this is the second time I'll be warning you guys for the stock, stock market in my opinion uh, I think in a short period of time probably by the end of the year most likely right after the election or the very beginning of next year at the latest we're going to have a major major pullback in the market uh, things are inflated pretty bad it's not even so much that the evaluations of the stock market are totally off kilter in terms of uh, matching uh, precious metals. It's just that um, metals are so low still and so suppressed that uh, the market really shouldn't be as high in, the, in, that, in that sense. So it depends on how you look at it. A lot of the fundamentals of the stock markets are, are completely uh, uh, blown out of proportion. And it's hard to actually get a grasp of what is the valuation of companies right now. 
the true growth in, in, the, in our economy is, is flat. Unemployment continues to uptick. And um, a lot of these un, you know, unemployment numbers uh, are just completely hogwash. They don't even count in uh, the unemployment numbers of the people who are actually leaving the workforce. And so uh, they're honest to God is more people leaving than coming into the workforce. Uh, that should be very concerning, and it should uh, raise, you know, raise alarm bells to all of us that something very, uh, something very uh, suspicious is going on in this country. And I think we're witnessing the slow creep, not only of just liberalism collapsing our economy, but uh, the freedoms we have in our free economy, the expansion of capitalism, which is not a bad thing. Um, if so, then, you know, all the things that we enjoy come from that. How can that be a bad thing? The more you work and the better you can do for yourself and your family, is that really a bad thing? You know, it's not all about materialism. Yes, there are people that are crony capitalists that uh, have got the government in bed with them and they use the influence of government to better themselves, which is not correct. That should be illegal and that's completely not uh, not constitutional. The government should not take sides for, uh, for you know, supporting and growing certain businesses over others and uh, they should be neutral. But you have a lot of people that used to work for major corporations that get into government and through the back doors, back channels, uh, you know, the buddy, the good old buddy system, they do things to uh, help their friends out. And that is not right. So I hope everybody is well. And thanks again for all the new subscribers. Uh, I'm really excited about this channel. Uh, I kind of worried that I might grow too fast. Uh, I know I only have at the time of this video around 50 uh, subscribers. Uh, being new to YouTube and stuff, it's all kind of a little overwhelming. So um, I almost feel like I'm compelled to respond to every message I get. There might be a point in time I might just pick every other message and hopefully everybody understands uh, that I have to, I have to live my life too and I can't be on the computer as much as I am now. This is not sustainable. Uh, it's hard to do this many uh, videos and uh, to think out these different thoughts uh, throughout the day and try to have a life. But, but I just want to tell everybody that I do appreciate it and this is really fun. I can see why people do this and I can see really why there's this community that has formed over the years because we all have a lot of the same interests, concerns, and, uh, you know, and drives, you know, we, we all have some of the same motivation to, uh, to get to the same place in our life. And we may be of all different ages. And, uh, I think Donnie, uh, you know, in a previous video is saying something about, uh, that he thought that I was in my mid thirties. I, I wish I was that young. <laughs> Thanks a lot for that, for those comments. But uh, you know, I try to act young. I don't know if that's always a good thing, but sometimes if you try to think young and be young, then you might you might be young or might, might you might live a little longer. Maybe I don't know. So uh, yeah, I, I appreciate more comments like that of me being that young. Uh, I would love to be you know in my mid thirties again. But uh, so uh, thanks to God, you know, thanks everybody again for. Um, all these messages and comments maybe that's a normal thing in youtube and i'm just not used to it but uh it, it is kind of fun to get messages every few minutes or at least a couple times an hour uh sometimes in the middle of the night it's not so good to, you know so i'm gonna have to figure out how to maybe tone that down or uh, turn that off but uh otherwise you know uh i'm just working off this phone i got a just a smartphone connection as everybody probably knows by now and so that's the only way i have internet connection uh, I may have slightly misspoke earlier about uh, the internet The internet in my area. There is some internet actually, but there's really, only, really mainly just one carrier and it's uh, outrageously expensive because I live in a slightly more rural area. And because of that, uh, the only thing that is affordable to me and really an option for me without having to add a lot more infrastructure on my property to get those lines for the internet to my house would be the cell phone. So I had this uh, just a basic cell phone, basic smartphone uh, with a very basic plan. So my upload times are, are astronomical. It takes sometimes as much as four to six hours, you know, on a video to upload. A lot of people wouldn't even mess with that, but I do. This is this is just for fun, and and so uh, just uh, just know that if there's a response video that you want me to make, it could take maybe a half a day to a day because there's sometimes as much as ten videos in queue uploading. So a uh, video has to get in line to, to, get, <laughs> to get uploaded. So sometimes I'm, I'm as much as even a day or two beh uh, behind on the uploads because uh, it's just that slow. So anyways, thanks again. I'm about at the 15 minute mark for me rambling again. And you guys take care. See ya.